So that's the screw there. It's literally just poking, it's only just Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry we've not been around for a couple of weeks. I'll explain all in detail why we've not had a vlog for a bit. But the first job is I need to get Jameson washed because I think we've got a buyer for him next week. A lad at work is going to be potentially buying Jameson. So that's going to be awesome. So the first job, let's get Jameson washed and then I'll explain to you what I'm doing here. but I hate cleaning wheels. What makes this job a lot easier that I like is your Meguiar's, Meguiar's uh, alloy wheel cleaner. Just spray that on, it reacts with the carbon in the brake dust on the wheels and re just sort of releases it. You leave it on five or so minutes and then it's just a lot easier to scrub off. It does make it so much easier. And it's quite a, kind of cool because as it reacts with the carbon, it goes on like a red liquid running down <laughs> the wheel. Get this one sorted. Ready for selling. Hopefully a friend of mine is interested in it next week. And then Jameson will be going off to a new home. And as soon as this is washed and the last few prep bits for this to go, I can start getting on to the new one some little modifications. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just putting some new roof clamps. New roof clamps on. I hope that road noise isn't too bad. Say we live opposite some fields. I can't believe how noisy this road is sometimes. So on the Fiat Decato, we have these, what they call uh, mushroom clamps just there look so like a well you see why they call it a mushroom it's like a mushroom top I guess because I wanted to make his own bespoke roof rack so that's why I'm going to try and get these on so I found these on Amazon they're quite expensive for what they are they like, look quite cool don't they in this like matte black match the van so they come in two parts and they've got a slot just there, look, that fits around the mushroom head. So as this goes over the top, with the bolts that bolt through, and then it's on top of that, it's got the all extrusion parts, which will slide in to the grooves on some alley extrusion. So once I've got these bolted on, I'll be able to take some measurements, get some alley extrusion cut, and basically form to whatever size and length and inlays I want to the L extrusion. So I might have a slight overhang thinking over the back doors there so I could put a strip light on facing down so when we've got the mountain bikes and washing off at night I can see there's going to be I think an extra solar panel on here and then maybe on that side or the other way around not sure depending on where I get electrics through the roof. Starlink. So I'll be able to use the alley extrusion to build a frame for my Starlink top. Yeah. So what I'm thinking of doing is, rather than have metal on metal around here, as that tightens up around the mushroom head, I thought if I get, I've got some old, well, not old, the one's gonna kill me. It's one of our push chairs, I think. And in the tube. <laughs> Sorry, Luan. Put some rubber underneath. So if I trim that to size, cut that. So my plan is to put that over the mushroom head. If I cut that now. And at least it'll have some rubber protection in between the metal and metal. That's my plan anyway. 
Like cutting my fingers off. <laughs> Oosh. Straight round. Perfect. So that's around the mushroom head. So them clamps are gonna go on there. So I'll get these clamped on and then I can take some measurements and get some alley extrusion ordered for another episode. We can build a bespoke roof rack. Look about probably getting it powder coated or possibly painting it with some Raptor paint, smooth black, matte black Raptor paint maybe. Some stickers down the side, it'll look badass. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna get these on, finish, get, I think that'll work well, do you? Rather than have metal and metal touching, just with water trapped in between, eventually I'm thinking that's just gonna wear through, at least that can tighten down onto some rubber, boom. It's gotta work better than metal and metal, eh? So yeah, let's get them on. My apologies guys for not having a vlog out for a good few weeks. It's been a busy few weeks. We filmed, we had a nightmare. We filmed at the camper van show a couple of weeks ago. And unfortunately we did an amazing vlog. We did a pub stop over. We talked about a shopping list and going around the camper van show, me and Luan finding bits for the new van. But unfortunately we got back and we had a memory card issue. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> Boof! I was felt, oh, felt sick to my stomach. We got back, out of all the clips, memory card malfunction, we could only see three clips. Absolute nightmare. And somebody recommended the use of mini partition tool, which is a program you can download on your PC. And basically it retrieves any lost or damaged files. Definitely recommend it if you have this problem. Um, it managed to find all the files and I could see that they're all there, but unfortunately, the free version that I did have, uh, don't let you retrieve the files. I have to pay for the paid version, the pro version, mini partition pool, which is about 130 quid. Ah, uh, I'm just like, the show's been and gone. I'm not spending 130 quid just to retrieve a vlog's worth. So, yeah, spat me dummy out, got the face on, didn't have a vlog. So, that was the other week. Last week, Luan booked me a, for my 40th to go part of my 40th because we spent, many of many of you know, we spent my 40th at uh, Brayton Ferry for Jack's charity camp out. So we went to Dublin last weekend. Many of you might have seen it on the story. Brenty, Mr. Monkey on plenty of slurps. The Guinness was flowing and the Irish dancing was happening. <laughs> so yeah, oh man. This road noise is unbelievable. I should have done it later on or earlier. It's like a motorway. As soon as you get camera, shh, if I stop recording now, there'd be a massive break in traffic. So yes, my apologies. I do really want to get back to, like I promised you guys, um, a regular vlog. I think I'd normally try and get my vlogs out at 6 p.m. on a Friday, but looking at the stats on youtube the most views i get most of my viewers tune in on a sunday night so i'm thinking i'm going to start releasing them on a sunday at six this will give me a little bit more time for editing if i'm struggling with work commitments and other stuff because it's really hard around our day jobs to get back and edit doing the things i love i know it's frustrating work gets in the way doesn't it so anyway promise they're going to be back to regular vlogs on a sunday at six so yes we're back on the van let me crack on with this get these bits on then we can take some measurements cinema these will lock into the alley extrusion when i get it i think i'm going to go for a 45 mil by 90 i think i think it is 90 mil alley extrusion so it'll stand around that eye. So then I can get some 45 by 45 mil alley extrusion and that'll lock into the groove on the side of the 90. So it'll call, create, it'll create an L shape there, which will make the perfect platform for the solar panel to sit in. Then I can get some clamps, lock that in, and then I can use different lengths of alley extrusion to form a bracket for Starlink and other bits like the lighting rig. 
Right, let's get these on. Stop waffling, Brent. Just waffling on. Whether there or here will be the Starlink. And then this can be decked out and I can have some jerry cans or whatever. And, and then on the side here, I might even put, um, I found some like surfboard clamps that bolt into your alley extrusion. So it's got an arm on the side and you can have a surfboard on there. And then they also do a very similar one, which can be on the other side that trap mats the peg and a split pin sits in so you can have trap mats sat there so they're off the body look really cool surfboard down the side here <laughs> it's quite even surf but i want one yeah so they're on order some alley extrusion right next job i'll have a look at these mounts in the back right guys now the roof clamps are on i'm going to sort out the rear drawers i have found these little black push button catches on Amazon. All the links to everything that um, I'm installing will be in a pinned post on YouTube in the comments below. Um, so yeah, I found these little push button clamps. I'm gonna put them one on each drawer in the center and then one at the back. So when we pull them out, we can click the one at the back that'll keep the drawer extended while we're putting them in and out. Cause it'd be nothing worse, would they, when you're trying to like clamp your bike in and the drawer's trying to slide in if you're on a slight incline. But it's just like, Arr. And we're putting one on the front. So when we push them in, it locks the drawers in place. Now, there's like a front panel on the drawers. I'm just gonna cut a section out on the front for the push button lock to screw in place and then notch a little bit out of the top so you can get your finger in and press the button. Now this clip is from me because <laughs> it started getting late yesterday and it was getting cold, couldn't see, so I thought I'll trim them inside. So this is me trimming the front plates inside. Last night, Luan wasn't impressed. So have a look at this and then I'll show you the catches installed at the front. Let's go. Yeah, boy. What I did today. Stayed at home, we didn't go camping, cleaned up. It's boring. I, 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 clean, I cleaned this floor, look like how beautiful it was. What? I cleaned this floor, look like how beautiful it was. What's I've mopped it, I've steam mopped it, cleaned it. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's cold outside, I'm not propping this up. I'm using this, I'll just not damage the kitchen. <laughs> it's just gonna kill me. It's been tied up all day and I come in and look at this. Look at the island in the kitchen. <laughs> so these are the front panels of the drawers. I am notching into them to put a push button latch. Hopefully it works. So that'll screw to the back plate. This will fit over the top. You'll just put your finger in, press the button, it'll ping a peg down into a screw hole below and the drawer will uh, be secure because it's a real pain in the arse, isn't it? like a tiny bit of an incline, I climb to the back, laugh kill, and then I just come flying out. Oh, the drawers come flying out, it's like... <laughs> and I was like, in them. We, th there was an option next to when we bought the van, 300 pound a blooming drawer and they don't even have a latch to stop it in, to keep it in or coming out. So, we're modifying. Hopefully, this will work. Stay tuned, right. Gonna get busy, I'll show you the finished article very shortly. Right, so they're all done. All back on. Because I had to fit these so low um, to make the most of that bolt going into that floor, the bottom holes just there, look, actually went past the backboard of this. So I've just used a small drill bit to pilot drill. I don't know if you can see that. Two more holes, just slightly further up so I can get four screws in. And I think they look bang on. Perfect. Do the job. Right, now just to fit two at the back, put the trays in. I'm impressed with them. <laughs> right. I do absolutely, I'd sooner be out in the van, obviously enjoying it, but I do like tinkering with bits. Got so many things now I want to like start getting into it and changing this is why i would have been a nightmare if i'd have built my own gadget boy uh, would have just run away with ideas and costs and other stuff would have just whoo, 
Doom Spiral. <laughs> I'd rather move in parts and all sorts. You never know. We might do one one day because I really do like the big man Overlander trucks. Massive truck. That kind. Of, that could be quite cool in a, a good few years' time. Anyway, let's get on. On the back, I've just face mounted one exactly the same as we've done on the front. So once this is all pulled out, all I've got to do is reach round, and it's at full extent, and feel for that pin, push that pin down, and then that's locked in the out position. To put it back in, just feel around for that red button, press that, and she's going to close. So easy, so simple. I don't know why they don't come with them such as that on, but anyway, mine's got them on now. So over this mess up. Put the insert back, and then we're going to look out, look at putting the L extrusion bike mounts in from MTB Vans. Not sponsored or anything. I've just ordered them from there, but the excellent quality from what I've seen, good reviews, and a good price for mountain bike bike mount kits. Right. I don't know why I'm just like still leading here talking. This is killing me back. <laughs> what a douche. <sighs> But yeah, nice little mod for something so annoying. Uh, we didn't realise, obviously, until we started using it, just how annoying that was. When it just either came out or went in on the own. Yeah, right, let's get cracking. I've just realised, now I've put the cat on the back, I never looked how close, like an absolute idiot, how close the drawers went right to the back. So now, put the catch on the back it doesn't fall short what a douche so I've just come around to the garage to see what it was catching on but then I noticed this look at this this whole panel here this is this is next to the bed in the fridge so there's the bed here's the fridge drawers and I've just noticed I don't know what that looks a bit on the piss but There's one tiny screw, I don't know if you can see that there, that's just sticking out of this unit to grab that end panel. One tiny screw. And it says max load 200 kg. So your ladder's there, max load 200 kg. But it's only fixed in with three threads of a screw. So that's going back. How can you get two? Because obviously your ladders go on this. So all you wait when you're climbing into bed is on this panel. What? I don't know if you can see that through there, look. You can see, just see the screw. So that's the screw there. It's literally just poking, it's only just, probably Bruh. just. It's not even grabbed, does it? Anyway, it's a other problem. So these pipes, hot and cold feeds, run from that side all the way in the back of the garage into that side. And now it's fouling on there, look. But this bit of the unit sticks out more than this. I put it on this side purely to make it easier for reaching round and pressing the pin once outside. I'm gonna have to just reach around the back because Looking at it this side, I'm going to have, it looks like I'll have room to still clear them pipes. A bit to come back in, I think. We'll have a look. Or I might have to rethink the back one. But at least this top's been rolling out. I can't believe I didn't look at that. What an idiot. It was a good idea. i just got to figure this. I'll probably just, I'm going to try the catch that side. This side will be fine because it'll miss the end of the panel, but I'm annoyed with that. That's annoyed me. Right, let me have a look at this bloody drawer. I was on the winner then. Right, I've got round it. I put the catch, I didn't look when I said to look about the bloody pipes. And as I was just saying before, 
that door being stuck further out. So I managed to get around it by putting the catch on the back, on the far side. I put it this side just because it'd be easier. When this is out, you could just reach around there and push the pin in. But I'm just gonna have to reach around a bit further. It's no hardship. Um, and I put it flush with the bottom of the tray. That means, unfortunately, the bolt's not long enough to go down into the floor. So I've got around that, I've got some old um, sockets uh, that I've just, I don't need any more, like a chrome socket. I think it was a 13 mil. Um, and I've just drilled an hole, screwed that straight down into the floor. I'll show you that in a minute. So basically the chrome socket's sticking up and then that locates the pin. So that's screwed in. So it looks really neat because it's a chrome socket. Yeah, perfect. Just locks that in and it goes all the way back. So we're good. So now we're on the bike mounts. Now that's the plastic insert that goes in here. As I was saying before, from MTB vans, you can get um, all shapes and sizes of the bike fixing mounts. Comes with a complete kit. You get this alley extrusion, the mounts, fixings and everything. You get these little inserts. So you drill a 13 mil hole and then just screw them straight down into your ply. Put the plastic tray back and then that will fix down into there and then you've got your adjustable quick release um, fork mounts which is there that's in there from MTB Vans right that is an absolute beast specialized um, e-bike it's awesome so I've just literally put it sat it in here to line this up so obviously I don't want to fix this and the bike be too far back and not be it. I do the same as what I just did and the tray not going so I'll be able to put the tray in fix that in now and then we can get my bike fixed in and then all I've got to do is a repeat process of this the other end of the same tray because you can get two bikes in one tray top and tail and then this one uh, this one I think we're just gonna have uh, some Yeti storage boxes and other stuff I think that's the plan but yeah, let's crack on. Hey, Lily's in the top. It's the first time we've had the top open. She's up here somewhere. She just unzipped it at the back because that rubber seal just there had come away. So luckily it, can un it all unzips so she's got her hands out from inside and put it back on. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> um, and we've never been up there since we've had it really because the weather's been pish and we've not needed to go up there so Luan's just done that to put that rubber back on and also took the plastic sheet in off because we've never realised that that's still on there from the actual topper it's all go roof mounts on bikes are going to be in can't wait to be able to go camping with our e-bikes go off adventuring with them safely locked away in the garage because we've never took them before even though we had a bike rack for JMO because I never wanted to leave some expensive e-bikes just left on the back to just be <whistles> gone, won't they? So, right, let's crack on. When I, when I ordered the uh, mountain bike kit, they come in, I think this, this kit came in lengths of 350 and 450. I needed it at 400 mil to fit nicely in the tray. So I've ordered a 450. So on that one, I've just done. I'm just gonna mark up a line coming out in either side of 25 mil use a grinder, cut them off, trim the burrs off, put the end caps back on and then that is nicely fitted to the width of our tray. So I've just done one, I've cut this one and then we can get these fixed properly and then get the bikes in. I'm excited. Woo, we're getting there. So I've took my time, it's looking really neat like it's always been there, check this out. Got the first bike one in, might have to adjust this. These are quite smart from MTB, MTB vans. So you get this full kit, this is what I told you about a minute ago. So all that's now bolted in. And on the LA extrusion, you can slacker them off and move this. So once the bike's in and the other one's in, I might have to tweak them till they both sit side by side, top and tail. Now that one's all in, I've put the inserts and drilled the back. I just need to get the other LA extrusion Turn the 25 mil off, put the end caps on, screw that one in, 
set me uh, inserts up to match my forks and then this one mine can be sat in then we'll get Lulie's out drop her forks off and put that one in the other side getting them bikes set up on the mounts was faffy you know with the weight of the e-bikes as well what they're in look at that nicely done lines is top and tail in catches work nice but you know when you start to get tired and add enough I've just knocked my slurps all over. I know. That's how I've been busy. It's only slurp I've had. I'm getting ratty now. Huh? Rattling the dogs. Look at them, they're hating me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> the mutts have had a wash. I'm filthy. Oh. Had to carry Frankie. Oh, it stinks a log around here now. Right. Finish tidying up. Get this last tray in. Fit one more of these at the back to stop this one going back in. And that's it. That's a wrap. Yes. It's all back together. Check that out. One wheel's on charge. The wheels are just there. Bikes are all in. Clips done. I'm happy with that. Nice bit of day's maintenance. Roof rack all ready to order the extrusion. Um, I've ordered off Planet X um, a two wheel front wheel carrier. I think it was 20 quid. And you could just, it's all padded. You slip two wheels in, so that'll just either clip to that side or up against the bikes. Protect the wheels, stop them bashing around. So that's that sorted. Yeah, I'm happy. Check that out. Yeah. Um, just a little update from the early ones as you were still not unsure. We're still unsure of a name for the van. We thought about meant to be, but I don't know, it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit too, uh, yeah. It's not manly enough, I don't think. <laughs> I just might make you Jameson too, I'm not sure yet. Uh, and we also asked about trackers. Thanks to each and every one of you. Loads of people messaging, messaged in with help and advice on different trackers for the van. We ended up going with the tracker shop online and we ordered a scorpion s5 tracker um and a ghost immobilizer now have a read up on the ghost immobilizers i think they're amazing can't tell you too much about um what we have to do on this fan because that's part of the ghost immobilizer <laughs> but yeah there's a set sequence you have to do with uh, buttons in the cab before you start it or the van is completely dead there's no way anybody can start it without that being done. And then you've also got the tracker. We went for a lifetime membership. I think it was 585 with Scorpion for lifetime. So as long as we've got the van, we don't have to pay for the tracker. That's it, just job done. And I think the tracker and Ghost Immobilizer are about 850, 850 quid. So yeah, they came to the house and fitted it. All done. So that's it for this episode guys, hope you've liked this one, bit of a maintenance, something a bit different, I just, I think I want to do more things like this and just more day to day of what me and Luan's doing with the van, because I always try and aim for a really good, exciting episode and then I don't put videos out because it's hard to do things every day around your jobs, um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to put more regular content out for you guys to enjoy, yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling again. It's been a long day. Faffing with this. Going in for a slurp. Get warm. And finish packing up. That's it for this episode. Don't forget, if you like our videos, click the link, hit subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, boy! <laughs>